Hey! Today I am doing an unboxing video for a diamond painting that I ordered on Amazon. I have never done a diamond painting. They keep showing up on my Instagram, my Facebook, any type of ad I get online is a diamond painting and after weeks of watching videos on YouTube and going to different diamond painting websites, I ordered one. I started simple on Amazon and it has arrived in a flat envelope. So today I'm gonna to do the unboxing and I also ordered some organization and different tools that I'm gonna unbox as well. So stick around and check it out. Here's the package for the diamond painting that arrived. I'm really excited about this because I have never seen a diamond painting in person. I have never held a diamond painting. I have watched unboxing videos from other people and I always saw that they would come in a long, thin, rectangular box. So when I first got this, I didn't even think it was my diamond painting until I looked on the front and saw it listed as arts and crafts and I realized I haven't ordered anything else. So this has gotta be it. I'll put the uh, link to the one that I bought down in the description and we'll begin. So I can feel it wrapped up, kind of like a burrito in there, which is interesting. I don't hear or feel anything else. Let's get started. My nail is actually, looks like somebody else opened it for me. How nice of them. So, looks smaller than I thought it would be. Uh, made in China. Here we go. The company I bought it from, 5D a DIY Diamond Painting, 18, 14 by 18 inches. And that is a 35 by 45. We have the logo of the company here as well. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but I will link them and link down to the product in the description. I don't know, I thought it was gonna be bigger. <laughs> but let's get started. Oh wow, it's really in there. Okay. Oh, so this canvas feels really nice. Um, thick, high quality. I was almost expecting a, you know, like a, a durable piece of paper, but this is definitely a canvas, so that feels very, very nice. So excited. Ah! <laughs> Great, cool. Here is the image, what I purchased. A um, water crashing on the rocks. I really wanted the lighthouse in the background and I like the different colors in the sky. And that translates. Oh, cool. Here it is. That looks really great. As you can see, um, even without being kind of far up um, on the canvas, the symbols are very easy to read. I'm happy about that because I was worried I would have to lean over and completely squint the whole time I'm doing it. Here's a more up close view. It looks great, all um, letters and some really, really easy to see symbols. We have our symbol key over here and looks like we have 34 different colors and symbols. Oh, and again, the company name, Fletchki. I would completely butcher saying that, but that looks really great. Uh, the canvas feels really durable. Um, Thicker than I thought it would, so I'm happy about that. And even just looking at these colors on the image and the keys, I'm getting really excited. Um, around the image, we also have some different symbols, different symbols that they've put on, and my symbol key. Okay. So that's really great. I'm 
I'm excited about that. Cool. Let me go ahead and check the canvas. I saw online you're supposed to take this film off and oh wow that is wow okay sticky. <laughs> take this off and then I place it back down and it will help flatten it out. I'm bumping into my camera. I'm sorry about that. Wow, it's... Oh, I'm barely touching it and my finger is getting stuck. So that's good. One thing I had when I was watching other videos and trying to decide, do I want to try this? I just, I didn't know how all those little diamonds would stay in place. I was worried they'd all fall on the floor and I've got three little, little babies. So I don't want anything around that could potentially pop off and easily get lost, but that is really, really sticky. That's great. And here, like the coolest thing, what I was really excited for, my little pack of goodies. The toolkit first. I've seen many of these online. So, looks standard. Looks like what everyone else is getting in their kit. The little gooey stuff that you put in the pin. Huh, it's almost like a really thick piece of gum. I don't know, I guess I was expecting that to be more slimy and, and gooey, but it, it, it's not. Feels really good. This little tray. Which honestly, looking at videos online, I thought was uh, a little bit bigger. But this is a perfect, perfect size. Really small, easy to move around with. I like that. My diamond pen. Oh, I finally have one. This is so great. Can you see, we have one and maybe three. I have no idea how many goes in that. I look forward to trying it out. My pink pen, I think my my daughters will probably fight over that because they love pink and purple everything. So I'm gonna have to hold on to it and let them know it doesn't actually write. <laughs> um, this is cool. It looks like they sent some, some replacement baggies. That's nice. Um, Later in the video, I'm gonna also do an unboxing for some extra supplies that I purchased. And there should be an organization device in there or a little, like one of those plastic divided kits. So hopefully, I don't need to use too many of these. It's perfect, they actually sent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, 11 if you wanna use the large bag that all the tools came in, but there's 10 there. I guess if you did not have an organization, little plastic box, you could use these. You could do 10 colors at a time since this one has 34 colors. It wouldn't be that hard to do. And the drills. These look great. Um, yeah, it's like crinkly kind of plastic. It's what I thought it was going to be. Let me open this up. Oh, okay. They are individual in here. They are not attached in one long string, which is okay. I don't want to lose them <laughs> since there's 34 colors and possibly uh, and multiple bags of each color. So I'm gonna have to make sure when I take all of these out that I, I do a really good inventory and I don't lose anything. They are all labeled with you know, very, very well, easy to read numbers, this DMC numbers. Actually, since I'm not an expert at this, somebody let me know uh, down in the comments, some of them have DMC, some of them have a symbol. So I'm not sure if all of these numbers are DMC, if this symbol also stands for DMC. Somebody go ahead and let me know. So far, I have not seen a bunch of 310s. Looks like in this I'm going to have mostly blues, which I love, so that's gonna be great. And 
yeah, I'll have to go through and inventory. I'll also put down in the comments how many bags of each color they sent. So you have an idea if you want to move forward with this video or with this product. It looks really good. So let me find one that's easy to see. There we go. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Looking at this canvas, this is a full drill canvas. When I was interested in starting a diamond painting, I just decided to jump all in. I was gonna find an image that I loved and I was gonna work on it. I didn't wanna try a smaller one. I didn't wanna do a half drill because if I liked doing the one that I bought, the one that I was really passionate about, then this craft was gonna be for me. All of this project was gonna be for me. If I got something where I wasn't really excited about the picture, but I just kind of wanted to dip my toes in and see if I liked it, I figured I might stop it and not give it the full time that the craft would need or really give it my full effort. But these are round, round drills. Oh, there's a little pink. And uh, just from kind of moving them around, they do look very glossy, really shiny. That looks great. Yeah, another one that says DMC. These look really great. So my first impression, I'm really, really excited about this. Oh, they're falling out. This is exactly what I was talking about. Since they're not all in a line, I need to make sure I do not lose anything. Oh, looks like I don't have any yellow, but looks like a yellow drill ended up in my back. Hopefully nothing is leaking out. No. Great. So, Moving forward now, I will open up the items that I got. I will have links to everything down in the comments and I will even do my inventory. Camera angle change, woo! I kept bumping into the camera earlier, so I moved in. We'll see how this goes. So here are the tools I bought for my first ever diamond painting. I didn't know if I would need extra, if it would make it easier to do a diamond painting to have extra, but I did know I wanted something to organize all my drills in. With this painting that I'm gonna be doing, my very first one, I wanted to make sure that I had something I could organize all of these in. There's 34 for this diamond painting and I was just, I just had these visions of them falling all over the floor and my kids picking them up or my baby starting to crawl and having these little diamonds in their mouth. So I wanted to um, just invest in an organizer for that. I will put either a link or a picture for the items I put down in the comments and description. So let's do this. Thank you, Amazon. Packaged really nicely. Here's the organizer I purchased. It was actually just labeled as a diamond painting organizer. It was really inexpensive. Um, Amazon does not have a little tag in here to say what the items were or the price, but again, I will give you all that information. Um, I ordered a two pack. It says 28 grids for a diamond painting organizer. from China. Right, these look really good. I'm excited about that. Let's open them, because you never really know what you're getting until you open them. Got two little snaps on them. Okay, 
So these are a four pack and they're all connected. They're a lot smaller than I thought they would be, but since the diamonds are so teeny, teeny, tiny, a small little case is really all that you need. And they're all there. Um, I like how the top, it's a, a flat, really, really smooth. I can get a little piece of paper, tape, or just write the number of the drill directly on the box. And, oh, that's a little, you have to give a little bit of force to get that open. I'm sure they'll loosen up over time, maybe? Ah. Oh gosh, I'm gonna do that. And these drills are just gonna spill everywhere. I just, I know I'm so accident prone, it's gonna happen. Wow, you really have to give it a lot of force. A lot of force to open. Um, I mean, I'm definitely not doing this wrong. Okay, that one's just gonna stay closed. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm sure once you kind of open them and close them a few times, they'll, uh, yeah, they're already easier the second time. So maybe before I put my diamonds in, I might just sit and watch TV and play with those. And they all are kind of probably the same. They do look like they slip around in the case a little bit. You gotta work to keep it straight, but um, this is really great. I, I remembered picking items that were inexpensive in case I didn't fall in love with this. I really didn't want to be out a whole lot of money, but that's great. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's also, you know, kind of just really just about the size of my hand. So it's small. I'll be able to store it really well at night. Um, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. So that's, that's really good. And my Second item, I actually, I, I know I ordered uh, like an extra set of tools, but I don't remember what the tools look like. So this is gonna be almost brand new to both of us. It's called In Feeling Diamond Painting Accessories Kit, new. Oh, <laughs> wow, okay, so. Uh, always check the Amazon description really well when you order something because it looks like I have <laughs> now a third case for holding my drills. Um, that's cool. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this diamond painting, so I'm sure I'm going to love it, become obsessed, and have a lot of extra drills, so this will be put to good use. And a card from the company refund policy if I was interested in that and cool so their items and this is the brand although the brand is in feeling so I'm not sure it comes in a little carrier case this is great it actually feels like a kind of thick sturdy plastic you know like a cosmetics bag might be so that's great open it up and oh I've got a lot of good stuff in here so I have a lot more of the wax I think um, again it feels like the one that came with the diamond painting I originally saw it and I thought it might be flimsy and gooey but it's it's harder than I thought some reviews I've seen have said that the wax goes very quickly and they don't like it. Other reviews say that they have so much of this wax because they barely use any. We'll, we'll see how it works for me when I do my diamond painting. I have, uh, okay, cool. Um, two additional trays. Size comparison for you. Um, this is probably to put the drill, I guess, when you're not using it. I really like this one. I like that it has a little spout. That's gonna be a lot easier to clean up my drills and put them in these tiny little boxes when I'm done. That would be an issue. I would need to be really, really careful when I'm using this one to make sure that I get all of my drills back in every single little hole and don't spill any. So I'll be really careful, but I actually think instead of the um, the green one, 
that the kit originally came with where uh, I'll probably start with this not haven't done this before so as I get more and more comfortable using the drills I might use a larger case so I can go faster but I think I'm gonna start with the spout that seems me <laughs> the most beginner friendly and it comes with additional additional little green drill holder and yay all of the fun stuff that comes here with different pens this looks really great a uh, good set of tweezers they are just kind of plastic um, pointy doesn't look like it has much grip here but we'll see if I like using the tweezers over the drill pen looks good And I have three pink, one orange. This one is a one drill and looks like a lot. You experts are gonna have to tell me, is this a nine drill pen? I then have this one um, a little bit bigger, and a little bit, or no, the same size, but on the other end has a little bit of a smaller tip. It's gonna be fun to just lay all my drills out and figure out which one I'm gonna use. And oh, this one holds five, this one holds seven, this one holds nine. This one looks like two or three and a regular drill pen. This one looks exactly like what came with my diamond painting. And again, this one is clear, but it looks like the same size as the orange. So I'm not entirely sure what the orange one is for. It looks nice, but it's great. Wow, I have a lot of good stuff here. I've got my first time in painting with all of these goodies. I have the fun stuff, the extra, the goodies, what I need to do, what I need to use for my painting, and these boxes. In my next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my inventory for this project and then I'm gonna put everything in boxes. I have not decided how I wanna label, but I actually don't really have a lot of tape in my little crafting toolkit that I have. So I might just write directly on the plastic and see if that sticks. So check out my channel, watch for the next video, and thanks for watching my unboxing video.